Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now WhatsApp is pretty much my most used application on my phone just behind YouTube, but I'd love to be able to talk to people when I'm on my laptop or on my Nexus 7, which I haven't been able to do in the past. That is until now. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so all you need to do is head over to web.whatsapp.com and then what you're gonna to have to do is then just get your device and go into the application. Now, first thing to let you know is it only works with Chrome currently, and it only works on Android, Windows Phone, BlackBerry and BlackBerry 10, and also very select versions of the Nokia devices. So what you're gonna to have to do is go into your WhatsApp client on your phone, in my case, it is the Nexus 5. You're gonna have a menu in the top right-hand corner. Yours may be in a slightly different place, but like I say, all of the instructions are on the actual site itself. You're then gonna go into WhatsApp Web, and it's then going to come up with a QR scanner. So it's going to give you a brief example of how to actually use the scanner itself. Once you click on got it, all you then need to do is hold your phone up near the scanner and then you're pretty much ready to go. You can see there that it's done it instantly. And as you can see, I've now got all of my WhatsApp threads on my desktop computer. Now it's definitely a great feature to have and something that I think I'm gonna use a lot. As I mentioned at the start of this video, WhatsApp is pretty much the application that I use most on my Android device. So to be able to use it on the web is definitely a great feature. Now, unfortunately, you are gonna to have to have your phone connected to the web client. It's not unfortunately a standalone client. Now, I'm hoping that will come eventually down the line, but for the meantime, this is kind of the best that we've got but what it does mean is if I'm editing a video or browsing the web and I get any messages it's great that I don't have to go and find my phone or if I've got it on charge somewhere or just in general I don't really want to use my phone just then I can reply to anybody that I'm talking to on WhatsApp through the actual web client itself it's a very simple very intuitive way to talk to people and I'm going to really enjoy using it if you guys have got any questions about the WhatsApp web client or if you've got any issues connecting, be sure to hit the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer and solve as many problems as I can. If you enjoyed this video and you guys enjoy using WhatsApp, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you want to get some more great content from Copper vs Glass, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.